Hi, this is Christian from DesignWorks team. And in this short video, I'm going to talk to you about managing and using media, which means image files and video files. When you first install DesignWorks, um, you'll have no folders set up for media. So you'll see just the workspace entry in here, which this is just an area to drag and drop files that you might want to use, random files from different places. But we're interested in actually adding a folder of images or videos that we've prepared. So we click this icon here, which is the Add Folder button. And then we simply navigate through and select a um, folder that we want to add. So here's one I know has already got some photos in that I want to use. Click OK. And then you can see Zionworks has read all the folders in that file and it's created thumbnails for all those files. And you can see that they're also um, static photo files because they have this little sunflower overlay icon on them and there's 30 of them there. I'm going to go straight ahead and add another folder now. This time um, a folder of videos that I've got down here. Uh, here we go. Okay, so the thumbnails have been generated there for each of these. And there's 15 of these in the, in the folder. Okay, now that's fine for um, you've just got one folder with things inside it. What about if you've got nested folders? So you have a folder within a folder and you want to get all the files for the whole folder tree. Well, that's fine. And I've got an example of that. So I'm going to add another folder. And this one is called Other Videos. There we are. But you'll notice inside of this folder is another one. And inside that is one video. So I want to add this folder of the videos, but I want to see all the files listed, including the one inside that. OK, so let me show you how to do that. So you select the top folder there, press OK. And then you get the thumbnails generated for the 10 files in here that there are. Now, if I tick this box here, include subdirectories. Directory is just another word for a folder. Um, then you should see that extra file being included and watch the count there up to 11 and there it is that extra video just popped in okay so this is a, a neat way of managing folders and it means you can add folders from anywhere on your system and um, it's a convenient way of managing Dropbox folders for example if you share your backgrounds and videos with other people in the team and you, you point to a Dropbox folder you can just pick that folder and that will get updated as you synchronize it with the cloud. That's a useful way of doing things. OK, I'm just going to talk to you about the workspace now. So let's just imagine a scenario. You're on the video desk in the morning at church and a lovely woman comes up to you and says that she wants to show some pictures from her trip to Brazil. And she's got them on a USB stick. So what's the quickest way we can just get them into Zionworks and get them on the screen? Well, how we do it is we take her um, pictures from Windows Explorer. Uh, here they are, there's eight pictures here. Let's just multi select these and just drag and drop straight into Zionworks in the workspace. And there you see they've gone straight in, they've been thumbnailed straight away. Now, we can just take one of these images, again, drag and drop into the playlist and it will create an image show. There we are. And you'll notice in the ribbon area at the top here, an extra ribbon popped up there, the image show ribbon. And this is basically a way of creating simple slideshow very quickly. So you don't need to use PowerPoint for this, you can just do this in Zineworks. <clears throat> Let's just select a few more images that we might want to add to our show, drag them and drop them on this target thing that appears. And then you'll see them added to the image show. Let's drop a couple more in. Here we are, the last one there. Okay, so I've now got a show of four, image, um, of four images. I'm going to present this by just clicking the blue arrow, or I can double click on here. And here we are, we're ready to present it. Let's fade it up. And now this is what the audience is seeing. And now we can carry on presenting, just keying through the items 
the end of the show. Or we could have used the mouse to pick these, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then at the end, we fade out. There we are. Okay, <clears throat> another thing we can do is um, play a video. Let's just delete that item there. And let's go to, uh, well, let, let's pretend somebody else has come up with a video that they've just downloaded from YouTube. Um, let's have a look. It's on the USB stick. Here it is. Now, I don't know whether you've got license to show videos from YouTube or not, so I'm not suggesting you do anything that you shouldn't do, but this is just a pure example. I'm going to take this video now, I'm going to drop it straight into the workspace area in DesignWorks. And there it is, it's just been thumbnailed at the bottom. Drag and drop into the playlist. And now it's created a video item. And now we can double click or click the blue arrow to present it. And it's ready, so we've got a video player now over in this area. And what people are seeing on the screen on the main screen is still just the logo um, image. But as soon as I click present here, watch what happens. So the video has gone straight to the main screen. And we've now got control over here to do whatever we want to do. We could control the volume if we wanted to. We could even control the colour. We can make it black and white if we want to. Okay. And then when we're happy, when we get to the end of the video, we could just fade it out. And it automatically stops for us, it pauses at the end. So that's how to show a video. Um, finally, I just want to show you how you can use media um, with songs or Bible passages or whatever else you might be using it with. Let's just go back to um, back to here and we'll just we'll just pick a song. So I'm gonna pick um, The Lord's My Shepherd, drag and drop into the playlist. And um, I'm going to just present this. Okay. Now in the media area um, let's see what this looks like. We can, we can click the preview icon here, okay, and we can see what the screen will look like when it's faded in. Okay, it's faded out at the moment. This is the live view, that's actually what it looks like. But the preview shows you what it will look like if you're about to hit fade in. And you can tell here that there's a little warning icon, and this is saying to you, warning, this view may not be representative of the live display, which it isn't because this is the live display at the moment. Okay, but this is useful because we can actually set up um, this song. Now, say for example, I want to have um, I want to have a picture behind this song. Actually, I've changed my mind, so I can select this um, picture or select the item, and I can double click the picture, and you see it's changed straight away. So now we've just got a, a picture background instead. I'll go back to the live view and I'll fade it in, and you can see what the audience sees. There we are. And now we can start navigating through the song as people are singing it. And we can fade out at the end if we want to. Um, similarly, we could use um, a video or another image actually on the fly. So let's fade that back in again. And let's add another, uh, change the image. Let's swap it out, double click. See the image swap. Let's try a different one. Okay, um, or we could pick a video. So we, again, from the media area, we could pick a looping video and double click, and then you can see the video going. This one that's a bit more obvious. There we are. Okay, so using the media area is a really easy way of quickly changing backgrounds of stuff, either when you're setting up your service or actually live when you're presenting something in the middle of a song you might just want a slightly different background you just do that simple as that two clicks change it again two clicks okay so it's down to you to use this however you wish thanks very much for listening